So what have I bought? This video actually starts with a new shed. This was a good few months back, then I bought a bandit. I only actually bought it for a couple of bits off it, but ended up buying the whole bike. This is for a completely different project, so I'm breaking this bike. In the meantime, I came across another channel, and he's just got a bandit, and he needed a footplate. So I've sent him that to help him out. I'm going to link his channel so you can see what he's up to as well. But what I've actually bought is a Vespa. I saw these down every side street in Italy. And I've finally gone and treated myself to a two-stroke geared Vespa. It's got plenty of patina and wouldn't look out of place down an Italian side street. Um, plenty to go at on it. I've uh, It's got a full MOT and I've already started doing bits and bobs to it. A couple of pictures from the advert I saw. As soon as I saw it, I knew this was the one for me. Nice local bike. It's got plenty of scuffs, dings, patches of rust, but it's absolutely solid underneath. It's not going to rot through. It's something I can look after as it is or I can um, maybe do a full restoration. I'm not quite sure yet. All I want to do is get it running, riding, and enjoy it to begin with. Can't confirm it, but it might actually have been from the same dealer and might even have been sat in the showroom at the same time as my ET4. I tried to confirm that today with the local dealer, but they uh, couldn't find any history on it, unfortunately. I might have hinted at like a two-stroke geared scooter and here it is this is i'm over the moon with this it's as you can see not perfect by all means i believe it's completely standard one two five um, it had a fresh mot on it when i picked it up well not when i picked it up i went to the Place. Look at that gears, so that's a clutch, that's on the brake, that's a clutch. And then you change gear by pull your clutch, you twist this to what gear you want, and you let your clutch back out. There's this side, it's a disc model, it's like disc brake front end. It's 2001 and it's done 16,000 miles. So I don't know at what point these need a uh, well, it's a good idea to rebuild the engines. The uh, engine panel's off at the moment, but... There it is, a pretty rough and ready PX125. I've got loads of videos in the pipeline for this. Completely changing gear cables, refreshing the carb, changing the shocks brakes you name it i'm gonna do it to this bike just so i've got a really reliable everyday scooter but it'll only be ridden in dry weather